Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all out fishing. I haven't been able to lately as the wind my schedule hasn't allowed me. But today I thought I would do something and that is help you decide what 13 fishing ice reel to get this year. There's a few to go over and I will pick my favorite at the end, so stay tuned. First off, I thought I'd go over the Black Bettys. And honestly, the uh, the Black Betty is the first one I've tried. I've got the one without the fender guard. I'll show that in just a second, but we'll go over the, uh, just a standard Black Betty ice fishing reel. I'll give you a close up here. It's just a straight inline reel, uh, reel forward, reel back. You've got no drag. Um, the newer models, which like I said, don't own, have the fender guard. And I will show you what happens with that. Where here is my, my uh, reel from last year. Get a close up on this at all. You can see all this line. It, uh, without the fender guard, it goes over the top and when I reel, like, it's sloppy and it gets tangled up in the knobs. So every time I have to, uh, have to take it apart and uh, re basically unwind it. And it gets caught up in the bearings when it's icy, not paying attention. It's kind of a pain. Um, that being said, I'm not gonna just, just discount the, uh, the Black Betty inline version yet. What I may do if I replace this one is upgrade to the 6061 Black Betty. This is all aluminum frame. Um, 6061 is just pure aluminum. It's got the five stainless steel ball bearings, anti-reverse drag. Well, your other inline one has no drag whatsoever. Uh, 2.7 to one gear ratio. And it'll hold way more line than you ever need to for ice fishing. So, it's also got a dead stick alarm. I have no idea what that means. I haven't used one. Like I said, this will probably be my upgrade um, over my other rod. Let's see what else we got here. We got the free fall. Uh, last year they came out with just the standard free fall. Give you a close up version here. Take a look. Uh, it's got the, the, the trigger release. And actually this is my setup from last year. This is a, it's probably a 1 32nd ounce jig. And here is my trigger release system. If I back this up here. Basically you can watch it just drop with one finger. These sold out very fast last year and you couldn't get any more. They're in as of two days ago. The left-handed versions will be out shortly, actually. This is paired up with a super ultra light tickle stick from last year. New versions available too. Uh, what they also came out with this year is a cheaper version, is the Ghost Free Fall. It's got the same free fall drop lever, the anti-reverse, um, drop speed control. You can, you can kind of fine tune it. The things with the free falls, you can go light, but the heavier the jig, the faster it'll fall, and the longer it falls, it'll pick up, pick up momentum. So if you're going 30 feet, your first five, six, seven feet will be a little slower, and then it'll really start to gain momentum. And I will actually show you how I fished last year. I would put one down, and once I got that set, I would, I would just trigger fall the other one in my other hole and, and fish side by side for pan fish. These are both super ultra lights. And that being said, I, they were mainly perch rods, uh, bluegill, crappie, and had a, a, a ball with both. The difference between the, the uh, different versions, the, the free fall is 109.99 price tag. The ghost free fall, let me get the right box here. The ghost free fall has got a, a 69.99 price tag, I do believe. And as for a while, they are offering, open one of these up here. Um, 13 Fishing has got new soft plastics. They give you a free pack. I'm not going to guarantee later in the future this is available, but as of right now, they come with a $5 pack of soft plastics. And everything I can tell right now, they're all the coconut, crab, cherry bomb. So there's probably a little bit of build quality. I wouldn't worry <clears throat> if you think the quality is so bad. 13 Fishing makes great products. Either way is probably pretty good. Um, the plain black Betty with the fender guards are $39.99. Like I said, I have the old version, the one that gets tangled up and a mess. And now the uh, the black Betty 6061s last year were $99.99. They dropped them to $79.99. That may persuade me to actually uh, up upgrade instead of just getting the fender guard. The big problem was picking a winner. Uh, to be honest, this was my first one and it is the most fun on this um, tuned up custom rod that I've ever had. I caught a nine pound northern pike on this and actually landed it. And I'll show you how, how weak this line is. 
I landed that nine. I'll actually link the video below if you want to see. It took like 12 minutes to get him in. No reason I should have gotten it. Um, without the fender guard, I still had a ball last winter. I spent a lot of the winter um, untangling. I never once had any issue with the free fall. That being said, I to pick a winner. Which one do I pick? I honestly didn't know to this video until I thought about when I have somebody fishing with me, which one do I give them first? Hands down, I give them the free fall every time. I fish with this one. I will not give up my tuned up customer on Super Noodle with a Black Betty. Uh, mainly because it tangles, but mainly it's, it's, it's so much fun. It, it's uh, lighter than the, uh, the free fall. That's the only reason. And if you're careful, probably better fisherman than I am, you'll have no problems with the, uh, the Black Betty with the fender, fender Guard either. Like I said, this is the old model before the Fender Guard. It is just, you reel forward, you reel back. As simple as it gets. And without drag, fighting big fish, any fish. It's just an absolute hoot. I'll restring this. I'll probably use it for a while this winter if I get sick of the tangles. I'll upgrade, like I said, to the, uh, the 6061 myself. Last thing that people ask questions about all the time, the standard Black Betty, reversible. Everything else is not. Um, left hand does not mean this is for left-handers. It means if you are right-handed like I am and reel with your left hand, you want the left-handed version. If you're a left-hander and reel with your right hand, you want to buy the right-handed reel. I hope that clears it up and like I said, my, my personal pick, if I had to choose one, 51% Black Betty, 49% Free Fall, just for the fact it's just the most fun I had ice fishing last year. They're both great. I, like, I, I double fist both. I use both. I want both. I will always use both. But just something about the black, the, the standard Black Betty, it just, it, it's you, it's just you and the fish. No drag. Like I said, that northern slap. I'll, I'll post a video. It's, it's amazing that I caught it. So I hope you like it. Any questions, let me know. Comment below which one you like. Any questions you have, I will try to answer. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll come up with more videos. Probably the new fishing rods next since it's windy, cold, I can't get on the kayak until freeze up probably. So thanks for watching.